Interesting facts about famous people. I've made this top 10 Western movie list for you today. Take a look. Let me know what you think in the comments. I also added on the runner-ups at the back end of the video. Make sure you check those out as well. Have a great day. Enjoy the video. The top 10 Western movies of all time. Rio Bravo, 1959. A Western film directed and produced by Howard Hawks, starring John Wayne, Dean Martin, Ricky Nelson, Angie Dickinson, Walter Brennan, and Ward Bond. The film stars Wayne as the Texas sheriff who arrests the brother of a powerful local rancher for murder and then has to hold the man in jail until a US Marshal can arrive. With the help of a cripple, a drunk, and a young gunfighter, they hold off the rancher's gang. Rio Bravo was filmed on location at Old Tucson Studios outside Tucson, Arizona in Technicolor. High Noon, 1952. Produced by Stanley Kramer from a screenplay by Carl Foreman. Directed by Fred Zimmerman, starring Gary Cooper. The story, which occurs in real time, focuses on the town marshal, whose commitment to duty is tested. He must decide to either face a gang of killers alone or leave town with his new wife. Though mired in controversy at the time of its release due to its political themes, the film was nominated for seven Academy Awards and won four. Actor, editing, score and song. As well as four Golden Globe Awards, actor, supporting actress, score and black and white cinematography. The award-winning score was written by Russian-born composer Dmitry Tyomkin. An iconic film whose story has been partly or completely repeated in later productions. Its ending in particular has inspired numerous later films, included but not limited to westerns. The Revenant, 2015. A frontiersman on a fur trading expedition in the 1820s fights for survival after being mauled by a bear and left for dead by members of his own hunting team. An adventure western drama film is based in part on a 2002 novel, The Revenant, which describes frontiersman's Hugh Glass's experiences in 1823, and based on the 1915 poem The Song of Hugh Glass. The film stars Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Hardy. It had a limited release on December 25, 2015, and a wide release on January 8, 2016. Grossing $533 million worldwide, it received critical acclaim with praise for the performances, particularly from DiCaprio and Hardy, and Lubezki's cinematography. The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, a 1962 American Western film directed by John Ford, starring John Wayne and James Stewart. The screenplay by James Warner Bella and Willis Goldbeck was adapted from a 1953 short story written by Dorothy M. Johnson. The supporting cast features Vera Miles, Lee Marvin as Liberty Valance, Edmund O'Brien, Andy Devine, John Carradine, Woody Strode, Strother Martin and Lee Van Cleef. For a few dollars more, 1965. Two bounty hunters with the same intentions team up to track down an escaped Mexican outlaw. A spaghetti western film directed by Sergio Leone stars Clint Eastwood and Lee Van Cleef as bounty hunters and Gian Maria Volante as the villain. German actor Klaus Kinski plays a supporting role as the secondary villain. The film was an international co-production between Italy, West Germany and Spain, released in the United States in 1967 and is the second part of what is commonly known as the Dollars Trilogy. The Treasure of the Sierra Madre, 1984 An American Western written and directed by John Huston, an adaptation of the 1927 novel of the same name, set in 1925 and follows two downtrodden men played by Humphrey Bogart and Tim Holt, who joined forces with a grizzled old professor, Walter Houston, the director's father, in search of gold in Mexico. One of the first Hollywood productions to be shot on location outside the United States, in Mexico, although many scenes were filmed back in the studio and in the US. Unforgiven. A 1992 American revisionist Western starring and directed by Clint Eastwood the film tells the story of William Money, an aging outlaw and killer who takes on one more job years after he had turned to farming. Co-stars Gene Hackman, Morgan Freeman and Richard Harris. 
Unforgiven received widespread critical acclaim with praise for the acting, directing, editing, themes and cinematography. The film won four Academy Awards, Best Picture and Best Director for Clint Eastwood, Best Supporting Actor for Gene Hackman, and Best Film Editing for Editor Joel Cox. Eastwood dedicated the film to directors and mentors Sergio Leone and Don Siegel. Eastwood has long asserted that the film would be his last western, concerned any future projects would simply rehash previous plot lines or imitate someone else's work. Django Unchained, a 2012 revisionist western film written and directed by Quentin Tarantino, starring Jamie Foxx, Christopher Waltz, Leonardo DiCaprio, Kerry Washington and Samuel L. Jackson, set in the Old West and Antebellum South. It is a highly stylized, heavily revisionist tribute to spaghetti westerns. In particular, the 1966 Italian film Django by Sergio Corbucci. The story follows a black slave who trains under a German bounty hunter with the ultimate goal of reuniting with his long lost wife. Theatrically released in December 25, 2012, becoming Tarantino's highest grossing movie to date. The film received acclaim from critics, mainly for Waltz's performance and Tarantino's direction and screenplay, though the film's usage of the N-word and its depiction of violence drew controversy. The film received numerous awards and nominations, winning two out of five nominations at the 85th Academy Awards. Once Upon a Time in the West A epic 1968 spaghetti western directed by Sergio Leone. It stars Henry Fonda, cast as the villain, Charles Bronson as the nemesis, Jason Robards as the bandit, and Claudia Cardinale as a newly widowed homesteader. The acclaimed film score was by Ennio Morricone. After directing The Good, The Bad and The Ugly, Leone accepted an offer from Paramount Pictures providing Henry Fonda and a budget to produce another western. Clint Eastwood turned down an offer to play the movie's protagonist. Bronson was offered the role. The Good, The Bad and The Ugly a 1966 Italian epic spaghetti western, directed by Sergio Leone, starring Clint Eastwood as the good, Lee Van Cleef as the bad, and Eli Wallace as the ugly. An Italian-led production with co-producers in Spain, West Germany, and the United States. Most of the filming took place in Spain. The film is known for Leone's use of long shots and close-up cinematography, as well as his distinctive use of violence, tension, and highly stylized gunfights. The plot revolves around three gunslingers competing to find a fortune in a buried cache of Confederate gold amid the violent chaos of the American Civil War, while participating in many battles, confrontations and duels along the way. The film was the third collaboration between Leone and Clint Eastwood, and the second with Lee Van Cleef, the third and final installment in the Dollars Trilogy, following a fistful of dollars and for a few dollars more. The film was a financial success and is credited with having catapulted Eastwood into stardom. Due to general disapproval of the spaghetti western genre at the time, critical reception of the film following its release was mixed, but it gained critical acclaim in later years, becoming known as the definitive spaghetti western. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I now have a list of western movies that didn't make it into the top 10. I plan soon to create a top 20 western movies so this will be a taste of things to come. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid Dances with Wolves The Big Country The Searchers A Fistful of Dollars The Wild Bunch The Outlaw Josie Wales Tombstone Red River HUD The Magnificent Seven McCabe and Mrs. Miller The Oxbow Incident Rancho Notorious The Assassination of Jesse James by the Coward Robert Ford The Hateful Eight the Naked Spur Meeks Cut Off 310 to Yuma Stagecoach 
Blazing Saddles True Grit Thank you for your time today. I hope you liked the video. Please drop me your comments. I appreciate likes, shares and subscribers. It helps me a lot. Bye for now.